What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to focus on one of the functions of the move tool that a lot of people don't know is there. So in this video we're going to talk about how to create equally spaced copies between two points using the move tool. Um, before we get started today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I created to give you a start to finish training in SketchUp. So all the tips like this one uh, those all get covered in in that course. So if you really want to learn the secrets of working with SketchUp, make sure you check that out at thesketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I've gotten a couple questions about this function lately, so I just wanted to make a quick video just kind of walking through the way that it works. So a lot of people know that the move tool has a copy function included in it. And so the way the copy function works is when you have an object like this fence post, for example, you can activate the move tool and click on a point to set a base point and then if you tap the control key you go into copy mode and then you can set a distance so let's say for example I wanted to put this 8 foot from the original one I can just type in 8 foot and hit the enter key and then finally if you wanted to create more copies you could type in the times key and then a number like 10 and hit the enter key and that would create 10 copies all spaced at the 10 feet or the 8 feet that I had set between this point and this point and you can adjust that by typing in different values like times 5 times 8 times whatever you wanted to in order to adjust the number of copies that were created. So what a lot of people don't know though is in addition to being able to do that, in addition to being able to multiply copies this way, you can also set equally spaced copies between one point and another point. And so the way that works is fairly simple. So let's say for example that I had a fence and I needed it to run about a hundred feet. So what I could do is I could single click on this corner point with the move tool active and then tap the control key. And what I could do is I can type in a value of 100 feet and hit the enter key. You can see how that sets a copy of this all the way out 100 feet from this base point. Well if I type in divided by, the divided by key, and then the number of copies. So let's say for example that I wanted to create 10 copies, I could type divided by 10 and hit the enter key. That would create 10 copies equally spaced between this point and this point. And you can do the same thing with this. Let's say you wanted 15 copies. You could type in divided by 15 and hit the enter key. That would create 15 copies equally spaced between this point and this point. So instead of having to do the math and figuring out the distance between each point in order to uh, create all of these equally spaced, SketchUp will just do that for you. So I could type in like divided by 8 divided by 5 and hit the enter key and note that this stays active until I click off of it or until I click another point at which point I can't do that anymore but now my fence posts are are set in here then I could come in here and I could do whatever I wanted to I could generate I could generate a board that runs across this and make copies of that. I could do whatever I wanted to with that. But there's a lot of different applications you could use this for. So let's say for example that I was going to create copies of this shelf and uh, I wanted one that was 12 inches up and I wanted one that was 12 inches down. So I could use the move tool in copy mode in order to do that. And then I could type in divided by two or divided by three so you can adjust the number of shelves you create in here by doing that so this can be very useful for you not having to do a whole bunch of math you can create copies really easily um, it's really a time saver within SketchUp so this tip along with other tips like it are contained in the SketchUp Essentials course so if you're looking for more information and you really want to learn all of those different tips and tricks that are contained in SketchUp to make your modeling faster you can check that out at the SketchUp Essentials dot com slash course. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you know about this function? Have you been using it? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.